So just recorded a fucking excellent clip uh, from a with regard to a student's question in our Telegram group here, but the sound came up fucked up through my mic. So I'm going to record this whole fucking clip right now. Nothing dramatic, but the student asked, is the U.S. simile harder during certain months of the year? She asks about step one. I'll answer for step two as well. Okay, many of you watching this clip. Student wants to know if the exam is harder during certain months of the year and also asks about how this relates to changes in the USMLE question pool that supposedly occurs every May. The student read something on Reddit about this, which is always a good one, okay, absorbing uh, views from Reddit. So I'll give you a very fucking clean and consolidated answer here. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. So students asking about, is the assembly harder during certain times of the year? And also asks uh, how this relates to changes in the US assembly question pool. And... My response is, as I just fucking uh, recorded in a prior clip that uh, didn't make its way through here, is no, the U.S. simile does not get harder uh, at different times of the year, uh, nor does it increase in difficulty over time in my view. Okay, so there's two points essentially. The first is this notion that the difficulty uh, bears fluctuation throughout the course of the year is no different. It's on the same spectrum as uh, students opining that uh, one NBME exam, e.g. 22 versus 29, is easier versus harder than the others, okay? Uh, I could send you questions from different exams. You'd have no fucking idea uh, any difference between the questions I'm sending you, okay? It's all speculation. It's all escapism. The second point, which is uh, tangential to this first one, is that I did NBME 3 online for step one a decade ago. Okay, we've got 30 online now. I could send you questions from NBME 3, NBME 1, okay, essentially blinded. You'd have no fucking idea that you're doing different questions from the new NBMEs, okay? So I've gone through all the NBMEs. So I'd say there is a, a significant confidence interval overlap between this notion of difficulty of prior questions versus newer ones, as well as uh, changes throughout the year. Okay, it's nonsense. Uh, US Simile will obviously update uh, testing items uh, throughout the year, and they've got tens of thousands of items. Okay, so if you did have a theoretical increase or decrease in difficulty, you'd be talking about marginal percentages. Makes no fucking difference. One concrete point I can comment on is that, of course, they added more ethics slash communication in the spring of 2021, which, if you struggle with the EQ component, that can be difficult, okay? Knowing what to say to patients in certain situations. So I'd say that change could reflect a definable and concrete augmentation and difficulty for some students. That would make it easier for other students, okay? Some students are happy about that. So that's the short point here. I would say no change in difficulty throughout the year, nor has there been an increase in difficulty over the years. So how do we, how does this translate into some practical value for you in terms of your prep? Does this change anything? The answer is no. I want you going through all of UWorld for step one and two. I want you doing, for step one, I want you doing NBMEs 20 through 24 offline, then free 120, then 25 through 30. I want you going through all my PDFs, okay? I'll link them down below. And I want you going through my audio QBank here on the YouTube by playlist, okay? You'll see there's different playlists, farm, micro, biochem, etc. for 2CK, peds, ops, and guide. For 2CK, after you finish UWorld, you're going to do all the clinical mastery series forms. Then you're going to do offline NBME 6 through 8 and free 120. Then you're going to do a double pass of all the CMS forms. And then you're going to do NBME's 9 through 12 online. You know the deal, Nick, to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.